Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. Um, also, Otter Builder, I guess now. Um, I got to make some thread chasers. I've got taps, but they're only like a couple inches long, so it won't really work. So I got my old head bolts here, which I'm not going to be reusing. But um, if I can open this, they're uh, getting kind of rusty, and like I said, I'm not going to reuse them, but I am going to use one to make a thread chaser out of it. Um, this one looks good. So, what I'm going to do is move all this over here, out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to get the uncap, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, carve a notch down in the side here and then around the tip. And it'll be just like a tap, but it won't cut. So that's what I need. So let me go and turn this on, and I'll edit for sound, probably. a notch about a little bit of ways up and then we're going to round the tip on this like a cap. That's good. I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay. Just like that, it's getting hot. You look in there, just a notch in there. Take a little more on this side. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to take and round the tip off. It's getting hot, but we're going to round the tip off and it'll be just fine. There we go. And that's a thread chaser. Now, like I said, this is going to be unique to this one application of the head because it's so far down. But I'm going to put some like grease in here. You know, wired brush cleaning stuff like that's not important to this video. You go ahead and put some grease in there, and it'll get all the gunk out of the and rust and all the crud out of the original groups. And the reason I'm not using a tap is I don't want to cut down in the block. So I'm going to do it this way. So there you go. A real easy way to make your own thread chaser or thread cleaner. And there you go. All right, that's not going to prepper. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.